Hello everyone, I'm Susie. Hi everyone, I'm Sharon. And welcome to the next part of our Holy Week journey. Today is Friday, often known as Good Friday. I find it quite a funny title because today is the day in which we remember that Jesus died. We're going to begin by singing together um, a song that thinks about looking at Jesus and looking upon Jesus as he hung for us on the cross. So we're going to sing, When I Survey the Wondrous Cross. When I survey the wondrous cross On which the Prince of Glory died My richest gain Sharon, today's story is a very sad story, isn't it? It is Susie, yes. I wonder if you could read it for us, because it's a very important story, as well as being a sad story. So we're going to read in our Bibles today from Mark chapter 15. Early the next morning, the chief priests and the nation's leaders and the teachers of the law of Moses met together with the whole Jewish council. 
They tied up Jesus and led him off to Pilate. Pilate wanted to please the crowd, so he set Barabbas free. Then he ordered his soldiers to beat Jesus with a whip and nail him to a cross. The soldiers took Jesus to Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. There they gave him some wine mixed with a, a drug to ease the pain, but he refused to drink it. They nailed Jesus to a cross and gambled to see who would get his clothes. It was about nine o'clock in the morning when they nailed him to the cross. Jesus shouted and then died. A Roman army officer was standing in front of Jesus. When the officer saw how Jesus died, he said, this man really was the son of God. Joseph bought a linen cloth and took the body down from the cross. He had it wrapped in the cloth and he put it in a tomb that had been cut into the solid rock. Then he rolled a big stone against the entrance to the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, were watching and saw where the body was placed. It's a very sad story, isn't it, Sharon? Because lots of horrible things happened to Jesus. I wonder if any horrible things have happened to you so that you can think about what it was like as we think about what it was like for Jesus. And it also reminds us that whatever happens in our life, Jesus has gone there before us. Jesus knows what it's like when our friends are horrible to us, when we hurt, get hurt by other people, when people say nasty things to us. Jesus has been there and he understands. Sharon, I wonder what it must have liked being Jesus's friends that day. I think they would have been really sad too. I think they would have been crying. I was, I would makes me want to cry when I think about it. And I think, I think they would have been wondering what he was saying about and what he taught them about, whether it was all not going to happen anymore. Mm. It must have been really awful for Jesus's mum as well, because she mm. was there, wasn't she? She was, yes. So maybe the mums and parents among us, what it must have been like to see a child suffer. Sharon, I wonder if you can help us explore our Holy Week box and what we're going to do with it today. So in our boxes today, we're going to take out the bits and pieces that we could make a, a cross with. And we're going to take out a piece of white fabric and our Jesus figure. We're going to, I've got two sticks here, two twigs, two sticks, that I'm going to make into a cross shape. And I've got one of those little ties that you tie wraps that you get on, on bags. So I'm going to and twist I've got that round. Pipe cleaner that I found from Christmas when we were doing things in church at Christmas. So we're going to make whatever we can find to make a cross with. That will remind us that Jesus died on the cross. There's my cross. And then we're going to get our Jesus figure. And we're going to wrap it. wrap it up in the white fabric and we're going to put it into our boxes like a tomb yeah and then we can put our cross either on the top of the box or at the side of the box
It must have been really hard for Jesus's friends that night when they went home, not having Jesus with them anymore. Shall we say together the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Amen. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next part of our Holy Week journey. Bye everyone. Bye.